It's Christmas Eve and the ash auger has decided to break on the boiler, so I'm gonna to have to go and sort that out. But first, I'm gonna have a coffee. Yeah, so this isn't supposed to do that. But I can see some bolts down on the floor there. And this bracket's loose. So hopefully it's just the bolts fell out of it. Yeah, these bolts have come loose, but the bracket's actually snapped. So I'll take it off and weld it. I think what I'm going to do actually is block it up with a block of wood. So it's running on the block of wood over Christmas. That bracket's been welded up several times and it's fatigued and it's stretched. So I think if I block it with wood so the, the weight of the motor's pushing on the wood and then a block on the top so it can't flick upwards, and then the, like, the, the whole chassis of the boiler will keep it in place. And then I'll order a, a new bracket or when I've got more time, I'll, I'll make a complete new bracket that's stronger. I don't, I don't want to be messing around today. Charlotte's going to scan in a bit as well, so I'm supposed to be going to that. So it's just going to be a bodge for the next few days. I decided it probably only let me down while I was busy. So I've took the bracket off. I'm just going to weld it there now where it's cracked. Weld it now with a MIG welder. So we've got the gas bottle on. So that blows all the impurities out of the air and the oxygen when you're welding so you don't get the metal. Sort of burning, I suppose, is the best way of describing it. So, we'll just stitch it on. So I've welded it here, here, and then there, because it looked like it was cracking. Now I'll smooth it all flat again so it fits back on. In the last few years, I must have bought over 20 Makita rechargeable batteries. And the only one I could find today to work between all these different things is the one that's dodgy that you have to wobble. Did it just disappear? That ain't gonna fit. Hold on, let me open the door. Andrew's getting this ready for tonight, but... The, the lights on the bonnet are solar panel. We're gonna cut it off and run it off the back, just back to the brighter. This is why you shouldn't use a cutting disc as a grinding disc. They explode. Just put the wires on there from the other battery pack now so that it's got more power and then we can change the modes with that. Because going straight in there hasn't worked. Sorted now, I'm gonna leave the blocks in for extra support though. Better get clean for the hospital. Andrew's decided it needs more lights. What size of that cat? Chester update, he's uh, stolen my boot. Little sod. Andrew's just gonna put some ad blue in black beauty ready for tonight. Bubble machine looks like it's working. Flick it on again. There we go. Andrew's just got us slightly lost in the centre of Manchester. I think we ended up on the Mancunian Way, which is technically a motorway, but anyway, we're in there. So, uh, we're just causing chaos in a bus stop, trying to regroup. Yeah, you're not stuck in the parking bus stop, but Andrew's just got off the spikes. Yeah, we've just come out of Manchester now. Off we go. So, fill the car park. Plenty of tractors. Getting the lights sorted on the fence, and then we're going to uh, put a cable tie round Rudolph because he sort of fell off a little bit, looks a bit legless. Six o'clock on the nose, they've just set off. We're quite in the back. Bubble machine is on, and we're off round Diggle. 
turn the wire off now. Oh yeah, I've fixed the reindeer as well with some cable ties. So it doesn't look like he's jumping off. Yeah, so a branch is not top of the reindeer and it's broke its neck or it's at least snapped the cable tie so it's bent downwards and then also the plug where it plugs into the inverter keeps coming undone so Andrew's green lights keep going on and off there we go put back on now but the, the, the reindeer on the back the ears have fell off and the reindeer on the roof the ears and neck are broken so hopefully we'll sort it so I'm just taking a left now there's quite a few tractors I bet there's 25, 30 maybe. Some vintage ones as well. More classic tractors. Fed much blue in it. That fence looks. Andrew's had problems with his deers. Uh -oh. Have you got any damage? Um. <laughs> Let's have a look. Folded the mirror in on mine as well. You folded the mirror in, didn't it on mine? Yeah. <laughs> I think that was the best. <laughs> they like the netting. Oh. oh, they just kept coming undone, didn't they? Sam's quality wiring. We have to fix that, otherwise, it won't get home. I think we might have to take this off the roof to get home. There's not really much holding it. Massey, Zeta, 6920, no, 6830. 6125R, 7530. Major. Here. 28.50 Car coming Is it CS? CS110 6310 Case 895 is it? Yep 
fence. It's a 720, this is it. Like. 1594, I'm sure that's the factory. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> I just want to use a picture, as this is. International. It's 276. Oh, the wind is going to be noisy on the video. That's E7. Maybe Lamborghini. Mint that. I wish I was 16, 19, I could do another one, but I do know where there is one. Rachel's decided she doesn't want TP, she wants RH. Follow Rachel underscore Hulse on Instagram. She's looking for a man, apparently. Pimp Tom's 936. Yeah, the bubble machine's off. Right, it's tea time now. So uh, this is obviously Christmas Eve now, 2021, if you're watching next year. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching today and Merry Christmas and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Oh yeah, and thanks to Saddleworth Tractor Club for letting us come up here as well and joining the tractor parade. <laughs>